this video we're going to be talking about how to find the volume of a pyramid and we're going to do a couple examples with rectangular pyramids but this method will work for pyramids that are not rectangular as well. So the formula we're going to be using to find the volume of the pyramid is volume is equal to one-third times base times height. So B is for base, H is for height and when we talk about B being the base we're talking about the area of the base of the pyramid and then height is not the slant height it's the length of the altitude of the pyramid so if I look at this pyramid here and I draw in the altitude which starts at the vertex of the pyramid at the top and goes down until it gets to the base right here the height of this pyramid is the length of the altitude here so this is going to be the height and then base again it's going to be the area of the base so for example if I'm told that the base is seven meters by nine meters I could label this here seven meters this nine meters and I know that the height is eight meters and then what I could do is plug these values into my formula so I can say volume is equal to one-third times the area of the base. Well, the area of the base, since this is rectangular, the area of a rectangle is just length times width. Well, my length here is seven meters, my width is nine meters, or vice versa. So to get the area of the rectangular base, I just multiply seven by nine and I get 63. So the area of the base is 63, and the height, which again is the length of the altitude, is gonna be eight meters, so I get eight there. 63 divided by three is gonna give me 21, so I'm gonna get 21 times eight. 21 times eight is gonna give me 168, so I get 168 cubic meters, or meters cubed, and these units should make sense to us because, of course, we're dealing with volume, so we're always gonna get cubic units. And if we know that the units on the 63 here are meters squared, since we're talking about area, and the units on the eight are meters, since we're talking about length of the altitude or height, meters squared times meters gives us meters cubed. So we end up with 168 cubic meters as the volume of this pyramid. For a rectangular pyramid, we could also be given a problem like this one, where the side length of the base is four inches. So we haven't been given the length and width, only the side length, which means that we know that the base is a square. So instead of seven meters, we're gonna call this four inches. Instead of nine meters, we're gonna call this four inches. And the height here is gonna be two inches. So instead of eight meters, we're going to get two inches on the height. So again, we'll apply the same volume formula and we'll get volume is equal to one third times the area of the base. Well, the area of the base is just going to be, again, because it's a rectangle or a square in this particular case, length times width or four times four. So the area of the base is going to be 16, we'll say inches squared, and then multiply that by the height. And the height in this case is two inches. So we multiply by two inches. 16 times two gives us 32. We're going to end up with 32 thirds inches cubed or cubic inches. So if we were to do this on a calculator, we could also call it 10.67 or 10 and two thirds cubic inches, but that would be the volume of the pyramid when we're just given a side length. And keep in mind that even though we've done volume problems for a rectangular pyramid, where we knew the length and the width of the rectangular base, you can use the same volume formula for triangular pyramids, where the base is a triangle, for pentagonal pyramids, where the base is a pentagon, or for hexagonal pyramids, where the base is a hexagon. It doesn't matter what shape the base is, the formula still holds. So you'll be finding the area of the base, whether it's a hexagon, a pentagon, a triangle, or like in these examples, a rectangle or a square. You want to find the area of the base and then plug that in for B, multiply by height, which is the length of the altitude, and then multiply by one third and you'll get the volume of the pyramid.